What's up guys, I'm Uriel. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys the right way of rearranging your columns and widgets on mobile and tablet. Let me go ahead and show you guys what I mean. So as an example, I have these four columns here. So whenever we shrink these columns, you notice that my, my columns will tend to switch order. And they do the same thing for mobile. They also switch order as well. As you can tell I have email and then test and then funnel and business. But if I were to go back to desktop, you notice that business is first and all that. So you can easily tell that they're reordered. Now, so currently whenever people want to reorder things, they usually just hide the column, which isn't something that I recommend because we want to go ahead and build our websites for performance. Like I always say, the, the less columns and sections, the better. And that's why we don't want to be hiding these columns or sections on mobile, even though they're hidden, the user is still loading it in your website, even though it's not really there. And that's why we want to go ahead and do this method. Now, this video is a teaser to my elemental responsive course. So if you guys do want to go ahead and check out my course, um, I'll have it down in the description. If it's out by the time I release this video, if not, I'll be making an entire announcement for it. So you guys can check that out. Now, if you do end up enjoying this video, make sure to squash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. So if you guys want to learn how to rearrange your columns and widgets on mobile and tablet, go ahead and stick around. So I created these two sections here that we're going to be using. So I'm going to start off with the first one, and this is just a variation of a bunch of columns. And inside those columns, we have our widgets in here. And then the bottom section is just one column and a bunch of our widgets using inline positioning, which is kind of the right way of building um, Elementor websites according to Elementor. But I'll probably have videos on that in the future, just the right way of building Elementor websites, just so that you have you have better performance. And that's kind of what we're going to be more about on the channel is building Elementor websites um, with with performance in mind. So let me go ahead and just begin here. So we're going to move on to um, tablet or you know what, let's start off on um, start off on mobile because that is one of the most important ones. But usually so whenever we want to rearrange things on, on desktop, of course, we can just move them around, right? And it's we can just rearrange them. That's perfect. But whenever we go to mobile here, let's say for some reason, I want to have um, I want to have this email widget for this column here. I want that one to be the first um, column. And I and I want the business to be all the way at the bottom. And sometimes we need to do stuff like that. And I'll show you another example here. And here's actually a good example of my um of my header. So as you can tell, if I were to go back to desktop, you would notice that my um my menu here is on the left side and my button is on the right. But if I were to go to tablet or mobile, either or, you would notice that my button will switch to the left and um, my menu here will be on the right. And the way we're about we're, we're able to do that is if I were to click on this and I go to custom CSS, we're able to add an order. So to our selector, which is just our widget. So we have an order of three and we want it to activate at a certain width. We want it to activate. And that's what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do with these columns. And it's just useful all around whenever you're building websites on mobile and tablet. So that's why you want to go about using this method here. So. I'm going to go into my um, my mobile version here and let's go ahead and start off with that. So I want to go ahead and move this column. I want this one to be the first and maybe I want the test to be the second and the third will be the funnel and the business will be the last. Let's go ahead and start rearranging these. Go ahead and click on your column, go to advanced and then go to custom CSS. And we're just going to add some really simple CSS. I have this down in the description so you guys can just copy and paste it and then just change out on um, the order number. So really simple. I'm just going to type it in media only screen and here we're going to add a max width max width of because mobile, we got to check the mobile um, when when mobile begins. So we can just extend this all the way and we can see that mobile begins at 767. All right. So my max width is going to be 767 pixels, 767 pixels. And let me actually stretch this out a bit there. All right, 767 pixels. And then we're going to put in some curly brackets here. All right, and then within those curly brackets, we want to put our CSS class. 
And our CSS class for this column is called selector. And that will go ahead and select the entire column. And then we're gonna tie we're gonna go ahead and put in some curly brackets right after our um, selector. And then we're gonna type in order. Now, like I said, I'll have this down in the description so you guys can just copy this. And this is what you'll be able to copy. So from here, we're gonna set our order to one because we want that one to be the first one, right? So it hasn't moved yet. You notice, well, this hasn't even moved yet. Well, that is that is because we have to set the order for all of them first. Once we start to set the order for all of them, everything will start to adjust. So let's go ahead and copy this. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste this one. And I'm gonna click on this column here. I'm gonna go to custom CSS. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do two. As you can tell, they're starting to switch around. And then this one was gonna be my third one. And three. Then our custom CSS here. And this one will be our fourth. So as you can tell now everything switched around. We have our email first, our test, and our funnel, and then our business. And if I were to go to desktop, you notice that it's still the same how it was earlier. I did not affect anything. This is only a, gonna, gonna affect the, the mobile version. You can tell business is still first, but if we go to mobile, we have email first. And then we can just do the same thing for um, for tablet. So let's go to tablet and let's go ahead and do tablet. So now what we got to do is we basically just got to re paste this and then just change out the width. And the width is basically when I want this to, to begin or activate. And that is going to be on my tablet version. So it's going to be 1024 is when I want it to start. So I'm going to go ahead and just repaste this. I'm going to click on this one, the first one. I'm going to repaste this and I'm going to change my max width to 1024. 1024. All right. So as we can tell now, that is... Um, the, that is, uh, I think, 1024. That is, right now it says, it says that it's first, but we're going to put that one to four. We can go to switch it again. Or what we could have done instead of, if we're going to have the same, um, the same order on, on um, mobile and on, on tablet as well, what we can do is instead of doing this and adding another one, this is only if, if you're going to do a, a different order from your, ta from your mobile version. Um, on your tablet but if you're going to do the same order from mobile to tablet well what you can do is just go ahead and just remove this here i don't want to confuse you guys on this so i'm trying to make this really simple here and then we can just do 10 24. so now um this will start at the width of 10 24 everything will get switched around so as you can tell if we go to if we were to go to um desktop it's all looking good right now and then we go to tablet you notice how it would switch over and it would stay the same thing for um for mobile but like i mentioned you guys can just go ahead and create another one and then change out the orders for every single one and just have this one at the at the mobile size and the tablet size in case you're going to have a different order on tablet but we're going to leave this for now i'm not going to go over that too much i think you guys get the gist of that <clears throat> Alrighty. so now we're going to go ahead and do our um our inline positioning widgets here which is something that I love to do now because it just makes everything so much more smooth and it does help your website performance. So as you can tell, we have them at the same order as before and we did above. Actually, they're a little bit switched. So let me switch these around here. Um, I can just leave them. Let's see here, the email funnel. A funnel we can do business. Now we can just put this up. Alrighty. So that's that seems to be pretty good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just basically do the same thing. But you're probably thinking, well, these aren't really columns, um, they're just widgets. How can we change the order? Well, you can actually change the order on widgets as well and it's or elements whatever you want to call them and it's basically the exact same way so i'm going to go into um i'm going to go back into into mobile we'll do mobile and i know that i should probably should have some spacing right above these widgets but you know what i'm not going to for now um this is just an example so 
my business here, my business um, icon widget or icon box, I'm going to go ahead and add some custom CSS in there. And I'm going to switch this to, yeah, to be the, the fourth one. As you can tell, I already moved all the way to the bottom, so it's perfect. And then my funnel here can be the second one. Just make sure I am clicked on the right one. Yep. And then we're going to do this. We're going to have this one be the third one. And then this one will be the second one is fine. Or this one can be the first, however you would want to do it. It can be the first and the other one. Um, the other one will automatically be the second one. I think we're on the same one, right? Yeah. I think one of them doesn't have it. So this one's going to have to be the second one. There we go. So now everything got switched perfectly. As you can tell, this one should be the first one. Yep. And this one should be the second one. And this one should be the third one and so on and so forth. Okay. And basically we would do the same thing for, um, for tablet. And we just did it earlier with our column. So I'm not really going to go over that, but it's the exact same method. I just wanted to show you that you can do that with um, elements as well. And you can order them on uh, mobile and tablet. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys do have any questions, just feel free to comment down below. I am going to be releasing a course pretty soon that's going to actually have this video included. So, um, and it's going to have a bunch of other stuff that are going to be very useful. And they're pretty much going to show you how to, um, how to build websites on tablet and mobile and how to make them very responsive. And also the right way of building websites on Elementor. If you guys want to learn how to do that, probably by this time that you're watching, maybe I'll have the course already out and it'll be down in the description. But if I don't, well, I'll probably make a video on that pretty soon. Hopefully you guys can go ahead and get the course. So thanks for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to watch the like button. Definitely helps out the channel out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. I have some exciting stuff coming up in the future that you guys definitely don't want to miss out. So I'll catch you guys in the next video.